All right, uh, this is going to be the video solutions for Winter 12, Exam 1, page 2. Uh, on, the, on this page, there's a problem about quality time and risky behavior and customer satisfaction. So, first off, uh, we have a study that the University of Florida suggested that spending more quality time with their families results in uh, teens having less involvement in risky behavior. So here, they're measuring here um, the quality time and trying to see how that affects risky behavior. So that's going to make the explanatory variable here uh, the quality time. So So quality time spent with family I guess amount of quality time because um, this explains um, the possible in like amounts of involvement that, that teens have in risky behavior um, our response variable all right so then in order to gather data they took a random sample of US families with teenagers and recorded the amount of quality time that was spent together in a week and recorded the teens involvement in various risky behaviors um, so here if we were to just try to describe the study, there's no manipulation, no grouping of subjects. It's just simply observing the behavior and recording the two variables. So this here is an observational study. All right, for our next question, we have the X being the amount of quality time in hours that a U.S. teenager spends with their family, and they give us a probability density curve to the right. Uh, the median of this distribution is given as 9 hours, and which has to be the mean of the distribution. Uh, so, here, we know that the median is 9, and it's pretty clear to see that this distribution is skewed to the right. The right side has a much stronger uh, tail, than, or much larger tail, than the left side. Uh, thus, that means that the mean has to be greater than the median. It's not going to be equal to, and it's not going to be less than, so 10 hours is the only possibility. All right, and lastly, we have the standard deviation for X being about 4.5 hours. And then we have to figure out which of the following are valid interpretations of the standard deviation. So, the first one, the times vary from the mean by about 4.5 hours on average. So we have distance from the mean, we specify that distance, and we say that that's on average. It can change from one data point to the other. So this one's good. Next, 68% of the times will fall within 4.5 hours from the mean amount of time. So this one would be true if it were a normal distribution, but this distribution we can see is not normal. So this one's not good. And then lastly, the average distance between the times and the mean is about 4.5 hours. And this is just the first one with some of the words changed around. We still talk about average distance between the times and the mean, and we specify that distance. So this is good. So we can circle 1 and 3 here. All right, so that's enough quality time. Let's go on to satisfied customers. Let's go ahead and clear the page. Let's scroll down a bit. All right. So a department store call, um, mails a customer satisfaction survey to people who make credit card purchases at the store. Uh, 45,000 people made credit card purchases in this month, uh, and these surveys are mailed out to 1,000 of these people chosen at random. Uh, 850 people returned the survey form, and then 60% of those people were very satisfied with their latest credit card purchase. All right. So, in this survey, what is the population of interest? So, here we want to get the whole population that we're trying to estimate. And here, we don't want to just talk about um, the people who make credit card purchases, or, or we don't want to just talk about the people that we sent surveys to, but all of the people that made credit card purchases. That's our population of interest, and we're estimating this by looking at just 1,000 of these people, because 45,000 is a huge number to try to... to get information from. So thus, it's not just the 1,000 people, just not just the people um, who return the survey form, it's going to be all people who make credit card purchases.
And it's not all shoppers at the store because we only sent these out to people who made credit card purchases, not people who didn't make a purchase or maybe paid with cash. All right, and then lastly, which of the following terms applies to the value of 60%? Well, 60% is of the 850 people who responded to the survey, so that's our sample. And then 60% said they were very satisfied with their latest credit card purchase. So that, of course, is a statistic. Uh, it's not a parameter because that would be what we're trying to estimate for all 45,000 people, and it's not a population proportion. Uh, the two symbols, P and P hat, <coughs> this one is the statistic, so we want the P hat. And, of course, this is a sample proportion. All right, so that finishes up the second page. Best of luck studying.